One of the first things out of the mouth of your doctor when you're trying to get healthy and stay healthy is to eat a diet, low in saturated fat, and replace all animal fats with vegetable seed oils, and maybe even take a statin or an another cholesterol lowering medication. Why do doctors give you this advice? What's the research say? That's what this video is about. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience, and I'm gonna dive into three research studies that you've probably never heard about before. If you know someone who's afraid to eat any saturated fat and maybe is taking a cholesterol-lowering medication, please consider sharing this video with them. Just click the little arrow share button. You can share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all over the place, because so many people just don't know the truth. The reason your doctor gives you this bad nutrition advice of eating less saturated fat and trying to lower your cholesterol is because of the research studies that they have read. Now, the problem is, is there's been a lot of research into saturated fat and into cholesterol that never got published. And I'm not talking about epidemiological studies that have very low predictive value and very low relative risk ratios. I'm talking about randomized control trials showing that saturated fat is better than unsaturated fat for you. Let's get into these studies. The first study is the Sydney Diet Heart Study. This was a randomized control trial using 458 men as subjects, and it lasted eight years. A randomized control trial that lasted eight years that had eight, 458 participants. That's an amazing study. That ought to give us some good information. So in this study, they had the treatment group. So the, the, the uh, control group just keep, kept eating butter and eggs and bacon and saturated fat. They ate just the standard diet. The treatment group replaced their butter and their, their beef tallow and their bacon grease. They replaced that with vegetable seed oils. They used margarine instead of butter, and they were instructed to eat a low saturated fat diet. This study went on for eight years. Now, the researchers did this because this was at the beginning of the diet heart hypothesis that thought that cholesterol was bad. So they, they did this with the best of intentions. The problem is, is that when their study was done and it went on for years and they crunched all the data, they found out that the people in the control group actually died less often. So the people they put on vegetable oil and margarine and had to eat a low fat diet, they had a higher mortality rate. The people who ate the margarine and the vegetable oils and ate a low fat diet also had a higher cardiovascular mortality rate. So from any cause, heart related cause, they died more often. Also the treatment group that got canola oil, or actually they got uh, another vegetable seed oil. They got vegetable seed oil, margarine, and, and a low fat diet. They also had higher rates of cardio, coronary artery disease mortality as well. So the people who kept eating, eating the, the bacon and the butter and the, the fatty cuts of meat actually lived longer and had fewer heart attacks and fewer heart-related deaths. The next study is the Minnesota Coronary Experiment. This was also a randomized controlled trial of 9,400 men and women, and it lasted for five years. Huge study, very well done study, very meticulous we ought to get some amazing results out of this. This should prove it once and for all. So they, again, they let the control group keep eating their butter and their bacon and their egg yolks and lots of fatty cuts of meat. The treatment group got vegetable oil and margarine and was told to eat a very low saturated fat diet. So what did this huge study, this randomized control study show? It showed that there was an increase in mortality, all cause mortality, in the treatment group that got the vegetable oil and the margarine and ate a low fat diet. There was no difference between the control group and the treatment group in cardiovascular mortality or coronary artery disease. Placking, there was the same amount of placking in the people who ate the low fat margarine vegetable oil diet as there was in the people who were enjoying their high fat diet. But in both of these studies, in the uh, Sydney Diet Heart Study and in the Minnesota Coronary Experiment, the cholesterol level of the treatment group went down. 
So definitely eating vegetable oils and margarine and eating a low fat diet will make your cholesterol go down, but I suspect you're not really worried about just an artificial number. You probably want to live a long time and live a long, healthy life. And both of these randomized controlled trials show that eating lots of fatty cuts of meat, butter, egg yolks, lard, does not shorten your life and does not cause you to have heart attacks. The third study was titled Corn Oil in the Treatment of Ischemic Heart Disease. Uh, it was a randomized controlled trial of 80 patients and it lasted for two years. Again, uh, still quite a few pay participants and lasted for two years and it's randomized and controlled. So we ought to get some good evidence out of this. They had the control group who ate just saturated fat, fatty cuts of meat, butter, egg yolks, all that good stuff. And then they had a second arm that they added olive oil and had eat a low fat diet. And then they had a third group that they added corn oil and had them also eat a low fat diet. So the conclusion of this study is that the people who are allowed to just eat the saturated fat, the, the bacon, the butter, the egg yolks, the fatty cuts of meat actually lived longer, much longer than the people who got the corn oil and had to eat a low fat diet. The people who ate had to, had added olive oil and ate a low fat diet did a little bit better than the corn oil group, but nowhere nearly as good as the control group who got to just eat their bacon and butter and egg yolks. So all these studies were done back in the 60s, in the late 60s. And you may say, well, why haven't we done any research like this lately? And I want you to play a little mental exercise with me. Imagine you were a young researcher and you went, you were walking down the hallowed halls of the Harvard School of Public Health and you went into your, your preceptor's office and you said, hey, I want to do a study. I, th I think saturated fat's good for human beings. And remember, this is the plant-based Harvard School of Public Health, right? And your your mentor, your preceptor, has written 50 articles about how eating a plant-based, low-fat diet is good for you. But you proceed to say, I, look, I found this, this Minnesota coronary study and this Sydney diet heart study. I think, there, I think saturated fat may actually be good. I want to do a study. Not only would you lose your funding grant, but you would probably be laughed out of the research facility. And that's how it is currently all around the world. And that's why you won't see this kind of research coming anytime soon. So stop looking for that kind of research. These three studies, which I've put links to down below so that you can prove to your mama or your doctor or your nurse practitioner or physician assistant, once and for all, these diets are not bad for you. Eating saturated fat is ancestrally appropriate for human beings, and it is good for human beings. Uh, canola oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, these things are inflammatory and they are bad for human beings. And these three randomized control trials prove that beyond a, a shadow of a doubt. So the next time Harvard School of Public Health publishes a new uh, observational epidemiological study and says, oh, look, it looks like that, that eating canola oil and soybean oils is better for you. You can just shake your head and laugh and know that that's what they have to put out right now because that's the fad diet that they believe in. So my conclusion after looking at these three randomized controlled trials in human beings that lasted for years is that you should eat as much saturated fat as your appetite calls for. Eat your egg yolks, eat your butter, eat your bacon, eat your fatty cuts of meat. We have been eating those for millions of years and they are good for us. The two diets that I recommend that honor our ancestral eating for the last few million years will pop up here and here at the end of this video. Pick one and check it out because it's going to help your health tremendously. If you haven't already done so, please take one second and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I post a new video, you'll be one of the very first people to know. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.